Hello everyone and welcome back to KZ Gaming. We're going to talk about one of the new features they added in RetroArch 1.4 but before we get into that real quick this is the first video I've made since I split my YouTube channel into a few different channels because I had a mix of different content all on the same channel so I figured I'd separate it up and make it a little easier to follow along with a particular subject okay and back to the subject at hand this cool new feature I didn't even notice it until a couple of days ago on 141 it's pretty cool but it's not that big of a deal for me because I use emulation station for a front end I just love the way emulation station looks and the way it's set up so I don't even see the retroart menu that often so the only time I'm gonna see it is when I'm going to make changes in the settings so the people that use RetroArch as their main front end they're the ones that are going to benefit from it the most because they'll be in those menus a lot so they'll see it a lot more often so it definitely makes sense for them to use it so let's see here here's the golden color we got electric blue which was that first new color they came out with there's apple green under sea volcanic red the dark was my favorite one but it kinda got old kinda quick cause it's just I guess too much contrast and too dark um, there's plain then there's the uh, legacy red from the old school days uh, dark purple and the midnight blue seems to be my favorite one now cause it's got some contrast but it's not too much contrast so uh, there's the colors and then also you have the background animations which they call the menu shader pipeline uh, see I like this heavy snow the best then you have the bokeh or baka however you say that uh, you can even turn it completely off in case your computer can't handle it I uh, haven't even tried it on the Raspberry Pis yet. I'm thinking the Raspberry Pi 3 should be able to handle it just fine. Um, then you have the simplified ribbon. And then there's the regular ribbon they had came out with. Then there's a simple snow. And then the heavy snow. So let's see. Let's back up and show you how to find it in the menus so let's see I usually like to use the controller but we'll bring the mouse in here to help highlight what we're doing so when you first turn on RetroArch you want to go over one column to the right where the settings are and then scroll down to where you see user interface right here then once you go in a user interface then you want to pick menu and then once you get in the menu you'll be where you can make those those changes just scroll on down to where you see menu shader pipeline and the color themes then you'll be able to make you know pick those uh, background colors and animations once you pick the ones you want uh, don't forget to save it unless you have it to automatically save but I usually click save anyway just out of habit and there you go so thanks for watching give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you found this helpful especially since there's not much info on this right now because of it being new so not that many people know about it and thanks for your support since I'm kinda starting new by splitting up into a few different channels so until next time we'll see you then